Not going to lie, when it comes to games, I think my least favorite part is cooking. I don't enjoy cooking in real life and don't want to do it while I'm playing video games either. Hey there, it's Teresa of Erised, a cozy gaming content creator. I would love if you would subscribe to my channel and check out the description box for all my other social media links. It's no joke that cooking in Disney Dreamlight Valley is difficult. I constantly find myself trying to make one recipe and then accidentally getting the ingredients wrong, wasting them, and not even having the correct meal I wanted. Well, with all that being said, I am behind to say the least when it comes to recipes because honestly, I try and stay away from the stove. This is why today I want to change this about myself. I want to unlock more recipes and I thought the best way to do this is to work on the special holiday recipes. In this video, we are going to go over all the details, the recipes, the ingredients, and where to find them. So let's get into it. First up is Minnie's gingerbread cookies recipe worth two stars. You will need one wheat and one ginger. Wheat is bought from Goofy's stall in Peaceful Meadow and ginger can be foraged in the Forgotten Lands. Honestly, these cookies are just so adorable. They kind of remind me of a Mickey waffle. It wouldn't be the holiday season without an amazing five-star gingerbread house. This recipe is wheat, eggs, ginger, sugar cane, and vanilla beans. One of each ingredient and you will have an adorably decorated gingerbread house. As usual, you can find wheat in Goofy's stall in Peaceful Meadow. Eggs are bought from Remy's restaurant. Ginger is foraged in the Forgotten Lands. Sugarcane can be purchased from Goofy stall in Dazzle Beach. And vanilla beans are foraged in the Sunlit Plateau. Next up is the four star recipe of fruitcake. You will need one wheat, again found at Goofy stall in Peaceful Meadow and three fruit of your choice. Just remember, the fruit do not all have to be the same, but they can be, and they can be any fruit as long as you have three. The four star Yule Log recipe is amazing. I think it is so, so cute. What you're going to need is wheat, vanilla beans, cocoa beans, and cherries, one of each. Wheat is purchased from Goofy Stall in the meadow, Vanilla beans are foraged in the Sunlit Plateau. Cocoa beans can be found in the trees in Sunlit Plateau or the Glade of Trust. And finally, cherries are picked in Sunlit Plateau or Frosted Heights. When trying to cook the Yule Log, I recommend heading to the Sunlit Plateau first to find the ingredients because three out of the four originate there. Now that we have all the amazing dessert recipes sorted out, let's move on to delicious holiday drinks. Obviously, because we all know I am a coffee lover, and if you don't know, now you know, we will start with a coffee, a simple one-star recipe that consists of one coffee bean. Now, in order to get coffee beans, you do have to unlock Stitch and have completed his second storyline quest named Very Sleepy Stitch. I have not yet unlocked Stitch, but honestly, I think this weekend I will just so I can get some coffee beans and make myself a piping hot cup. Just like the coffee, a latte also uses coffee beans, but it also includes milk, which can be purchased from Remy's restaurant. This is a two star recipe, which will also unlock after Stitch It joins the valley. To make hot cocoa, that is a three star recipe, you will need milk purchased from Remy's restaurant, cocoa beans foraged either from Sunlit Plateau or the Glade of Trust, and one sugar cane that is purchased from Goofy's stall in Dazzle Beach. Lastly, we are going to make five, yes, you heard me right, five delicious boba teas. First is just plain boba tea that is two stars and two simple ingredients. Those ingredients are milk, which can be bought from Remy's restaurant, and sugar cane, which is bought from the stall on Dazzle Beach. Now for the next four boba teas, they are all the same base of one milk and one sugar cane, but there is a little flavor added with different ingredients. For example, there is a gooseberry boba tea, which I'm sure you guessed it, has milk, sugarcane, and one gooseberry that is found in Frosted Heights. 
the mint boba tea has our milk, sugarcane, and one mint that is also found in Frosted Heights. Raspberry boba tea has one raspberry from bushes found in the plaza or peaceful meadow, along with one milk and one sugarcane. And lastly is the coconut boba tea made with one coconut, one milk, and one sugarcane. I do just want to make it clear that you will need to complete Maui's quest named Burying the Eel in order to have coconut trees grow on Dazzle Beach. Then you will have this recipe to make. Another thing to keep in mind is that even though you can purchase these items from Goofy's stall, like all the ingredients, you may need to purchase the seeds first and have the ingredients grow. For example, sugarcane from Dazzle Beach, you can typically buy the seeds. You will have to have them grow and then you can harvest the crops to get the sugarcane for the recipes. I'm not going to lie, I had a lot of fun foraging for these ingredients and making these recipes. They're honestly so adorable and make great gifts for your valley villagers. And not to mention, one of the Sarpath duties is to cook 10 fruitcakes and another is gifting raspberry boba tea to villagers. So you know I will be completing both of those if not right now, over the weekend. I better get to it. Thanks so much for watching day 23 of the 25 Days of Teresa Countdown to Christmas series. I will see you all tomorrow for day 24. This is Teresa signing off. Bye.